Your Excellencies, UN Secretary General, President of the General Assembly and Distinguished Guest, I represent the government of Syria and I've come here before you to reach out to you to discuss the plight of my city, Aleppo, which has been torn apart by the atrocious Syrian civil war. Aleppo, this great city stands exactly where the ancient city of Halab once stood. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where millions once lived happily, but is currently on its way to becoming destroyed by this war. In 2005, about 2.3 million people inhabited Aleppo. Now, fewer than half remain. Every day, we wake up to the sound of gunfire, shelling, and bombings as fights erupt between the Kurds, terrorists, and separatist factions, each in their quest to gain territory, have no concern for the lives of the helpless residents of Aleppo. At first, we the people of Aleppo had hope. Hope that the world wouldn't turn their backs on us and would provide all that they can. But soon our hopes died and bitterness emerged, thinking of how we have been put aside and weren't given a brief moment of thought. We have given up now and are waiting to be taken or killed. And yet, while the whole world knows about this shocking surrender, they stand by without any urge to provide aid to these helpless souls. It is said that the first casualty in war is innocence. Nowhere is it truer than in Aleppo. Today morning, I had a glimpse of the life in New York. Yellow buses with happy children going to school. It is three years since I went to school because in Aleppo, going outside my house is a risk for a bullet or a bomb. Such is the difference between our world. How can one ignore the fact that while the rest of the world is living fine, innocent and young lives are being killed in the ongoing civil war in Syria? Why is it that we ignore Syria as if it isn't worth saving? It is our responsibility to rise to the situation and try to help the people of Libya with all that we can provide to help withstand this devastating war. This is a plea for more aid and more funding to help the citizens of Aleppo and Syria. We request the world community to help us in our fight against the forces that are tearing us apart. Thank you.